the categories of I don't know. Uh, there are things that you know that you don't know. Okay? Like there's a lot of things that I know that I don't know about physics, uh, rocket scientists, uh, medicine, uh, a whole bunch of things that I know that I don't know. And then there's a whole category of things that I don't know that I don't know. Uh, I recently imported my motorcycle uh, from Texas, and it was sitting in a various and sundry warehouses, uh, my brother's garage, a friend of mine's garage, uh, for a few years, and finally thought, well, what the heck, it's not the best country for riding motorcycles, so it's, it, it gets cold here a lot. But it is beautiful and picturesque, and I always thought about having a bike here, so I shipped it over, and uh, when I bought the bike a few years ago, I bought it from... Ferguson, uh, the boy's name, Gary Ferguson, uh, a big man. He'd bought a new bike and was selling this uh, Harley-looking Yamaha. Everybody thinks it's Harley. And, but uh, when he sold it to me, the day he sold it to me, he got underneath it and he, and he took some clippers and he cut off this little tiny bell. And I said, what's that? He said, well, that's a gremlin bell. Now, interesting, the, suspic the superstitions that we uh, decide to believe in or not believe in. But... Uh, I said, what are you talking about? He said, it's a gremlin bell. He said, you can't buy it yourself. Somebody has to buy it and give it to you. Somebody has to, it has to be a gift from somebody else. And you put it on the bottom as low as you can on the motorcycle, and it's a little bell, and it rings, and it, and it keeps, the road, keeps the road gremlins from your bike, keeps the potholes at a minimum, and uh, it's kind of one of those safety things that you do. And, I mean, I chuckle at all sorts of things like that. I, I like, I'd never been attacked by a road gremlin, but... Uh, Nicole went and bought me my uh, gremlin bell, and I got underneath the bike and put it underneath the bike and have kind of forgot about it, really not paid a lot of attention to it. But I uh, got the bike here to Switzerland, and as if you've been following these at all, you know I live way up in the country uh, in a small village in Switzerland that's mainly agriculturally based, uh, milk cows, uh, beef cows, uh, grass-fed animals. And so, fairly frequently, there is uh, animal extract, <laughs> animal droppings, as it were, uh, horse shit or cow shit on the road. And the other day, just before I uh, was going to work, I guess that's what you call what I was doing, uh, I just was wiping the bike down. Just I've got a mitt that I can just wipe it down and wipe it off so it looks good. It's a good-looking bike, so I like to keep it a little clean. And I got down underneath it, and there was my gremlin bell, and I got laughing. This is my gremlin bell was full of cow shit. <laughs> just, uh, so I don't, it's neat. I don't know if it's worth the search or not, but uh, if you ride a motorcycle, have somebody buy a gremlin bell. They fill up with cow shit, and they don't ring anymore when they do that. But have a fun day. Uh, it was good talking to you. www.micpeakperformance.com And once again, how are you different since the beginning of this video? Take a look around. How are your surroundings different? Have a fun weekend.